This weekend, the North Bristol Arts Trail is going to transform people's living rooms into art galleries. There are over 50 locations and over 100 artists are taking part. And to find which of these living rooms you can go in, all you have to do is look out for these signs. But if you're not prepared to wander around the whole of North Bristol looking for these signs, there is an interactive map which will show you all 56 locations. But now I'm going to go inside and meet some of the artists. I've always wondered what an artist's house would look like on the inside and this isn't too far from what I expected to be honest. It's very nice and like sort of organised chaos but in here um, is the artist herself. This is Maita. Um, you're one of the locations on the North Bristol Arts Trail and this is the work that people are going to be coming to see isn't it? Yeah absolutely. So it's, it's not, I, I expected, big portraits, landscapes, but this, this is kind of like, this is, this is probably my sort of art. Of course, it's not just an arty house, it's a party house as well. You've got a lot going on that isn't on paper, haven't you? Yes, absolutely. We've got Bristol Poets, and we've got um, Terry Browner, who's a singer-songwriter, and we've got um, Elemental Resonance, that's um, Tibetan gongs, bells, and percussion. And then um, we've got Kettle of Fish, who's a five-part male a cappella group. They're absolutely fantastic. So. Fantastic. So lots, lots going on here, and lots going on, of course, across the whole Arts Trails. This is just one of uh, over 50 different locations. So if you want to um, find out what else is going on down here, then you need to head on to that interactive map. Um, but I think I need to go and find another location. But thanks for having us here in your home. So a lot of the artists are actually sharing houses, so artists will open up their doors and have other artists showing their work in here, which um, is happening in this house, we're in Laura's house. A lot of the work that we can see is your work, isn't it? Yes, at the minute, yeah. Uh, especially <laughs> that one that's behind you there. Oh, I've I have heard a funny that story is. about that. That's um, lovingly called the Moaning Laura. Isn't yeah, because I look really miserable. <laughs> <laughs> but that was in the National Portrait Gallery. Wow. 2013 competition that one. <laughs> and then just just looking at that and then that your art is there's a lot of different styles of it, isn't there? Yeah, I mean this is oil paint and these are reduction lino prints and then there's a watercolour. I do all sorts of different mediums. You're opening your doors to allow other artists to yes. share their work in here as well, which uh, we've got Ilsa behind us now and this is your it's jewellery? It is yeah, indeed jewellery. Very yes. interesting. So talk talk through some of these pieces that we got here. Um, well, there's different styles, so my main obsession is making my own glass beads. So right. these are some of the beads I've made. What would you call this? This it's ribbons. Ribbons, yeah. but they're all sort of like the same colours that are in... I have a vast collection. bead jewel. Yes, I have a vast collection of ribbons to try and echo all the different um, glass colours that I use. So what I'm kind of getting from just doing a small portion of the North Bristol Art Show is that there's so many different types of art out there and there's so much to see. I never really thought that art would kind of be my thing, but I'll, I'll show you this now. <laughs> These hilarious tea ladies, um, which Laura does. And there's some more around here. I just, there's, there's so much like humour and personality in all this work. And I, I really think even if, even if you just want to view uh, all the different types of arts that's down here, it's definitely worth coming on the North Bristol Arts Trail. <laughs>